Hey guys, today's Lost Sector is extraction in the throne world. There's going to be one overload and three unstoppables. To do a quick build review, we're going to be using Thunder Crash with Thruster. You can use any class ability. With Catapult Lift and Seismic Strike, you could use Thunder Clap if you would like. I'm going to be using Storm Grenades, but Pulse Grenades would also work. Moving on to the aspects, Touch of Thunder. This makes my Storm Grenades track, but if you're using Pulse Grenades, it would make them create Ionic Traces. We're going to be using Knockout, which heals us when we get a melee kill. Spark of Feedback, when we take melee damage, our melee will deal more damage, and 10 resilience, which is nice. Spark of Shock makes our arc grenades jolt targets. Spark of Magnitude makes our grenades last longer, and Spark of Resistance makes us take less damage while we're surrounded. The weapons of choice today are going to be Fatebringer for the unstoppables, as well as just something to shoot at the enemies while I'm standing on the plates. Salmonger Salvo as a general workhorse weapon, I feel like I'll get most of my kills with this gun. And Leviathan's Breath for the Unstoppables, the Overload, as well as the boss. So just the general boss damage weapon. Moving on to the artifact. We're going to have Thunderous Retort makes our super deal more damage while we are critical or amplified. Electric Armor gives us increased damage resistance while amplified. And Lightning Strikes Twice allows us to get increased grenade regen when we throw a grenade. Moving on to the armor. We're going to be running a hybrid build, so we're going to have a hands-on and an ashes that has sets. And since I believe we'll get most of my kills with the Salvenger Salvo, I'll have an Arc Siphon mod on. We will also have Firepower and Heavy Handed on to create as many orbs as possible. Since we're going to be using Thruster, Powerful Attraction is very good for picking up the orbs when I use my class ability. All these orbs are going to be used to power Emergency Reinforcement, but the orbs will also be used for Recuperation, Innervation, and Absolution. The exotic of choice today is Heart of Endless Light. Moving on to the Lost Sector, we're going to have an overload in this first room. It'll spawn in once we kill all the enemies in here. This room has the potential to be extremely tedious due to the amount of scorn in here that have the ability to go in invulnerable. Now we just have to clean up the rest of the main enemies in here to open the final door. There's going to be three plates in this room that we have to activate. The middle plate it will have an unstoppable on it. I usually shoot Leviathan's breath at these Scorn Captains. Watch out for the acolytes to spawn behind you. There are a couple of waves. This middle plate is extremely dangerous. You can take it much slower than I did if you want. I have to hop off the plate many times to while fueling it. Don't be afraid to jump off the plate. Just save more time if you get off and live than if you die and have to run back. I like to throw a grenade at my feet as I'm running away because all the enemies will funnel in that doorway after you.
There's two unstoppables in the boss room. Two Leviathan's breaths is good for both of them. And then for the boss, one Leviathan's breath and a Thunder Crash is all you need. I missed that second shot. That's all there is to it. Happy farming today. <laughs>